Today we're going to melt an Iron Man helmet completely out of wood. I decided to start with a model of the Iron Man helmet that I downloaded from GrabCAD, and we're going to edit everything within the mesh file to keep as much detail as possible. Since I wanted to hang the helmet flat on the wall, we're going to actually create an offset plane from the Y axis at a set distance from the front of the helmet. This distance will allow us to cut the helmet straight down the plane and keep certain amount of inches for what we want to mill and hang on the wall. I also need to ensure that this milling distance is within the limits of the CNC machine. I'm using a shape Oko, but also not too shallow to the point where we're going to be losing too much detail. For me, this ended up being about 2.15 inches. After reducing the helmet to what we're going to be using, we need to create a form in the mesh space to fill in the eye hole so that CNC doesn't try to mill out all the wood where the eye holes are. There are several ways of filling in the space, but creating a quick sphere form worked fine. Now that we're done with the model, we're gonna create a stock setup in the cam space that is the same size as the block of wood we're gonna use. I reduced the offset so there won't be any wood we need to cut away to free the helmet from the stock piece. We're gonna start with a 3D adaptive milling operation using a quarter inch bit to cut away all the extra stock wood around the model of the mask. From here, we're gonna move on to contouring the outline of the helmet. We're doing this step now since I'm gonna have double-sided tape securely holding down the piece of wood being milled, but if you're using clamps or other methods, you might wanna to wait to do the contour last. Next was a new one to me. We're gonna be using a 3D parallel milling with a half inch ball end mill that will run across the face of the helmet several times, changing its Z axis based on the details of the mask. This worked out great as you'll see during the milling. After looking at the detail that the half inch end mill was doing, it was actually missing some details in the corner. So we switched it to a 3 8 inch bull end mill and kept reducing the step over until getting the level of detail we wanted in this. And you can see it's really close here in a lot of the corners. Did I mention this was a collab with my good buddy Winston from Winston Makes? Hey Winston. So now onto the mill. The first thing we did was throw in an MDF wasteboard that we milled flat. And yes, he's just running through the controls himself to make this milling job a lot faster instead of having to program something. As mentioned before, we're using plenty of double-sided tape to hold down the block of wood, and that easily got the job done. From there, we ran through the milling as shown in the modeling steps, and you'll notice we don't have our dust boot connected because it won't work well with this milling operation since we're having a lot of the borders left over, and therefore we just had to manually vacuum the space. And oh yeah, there was plenty of time to get into Smash Brothers in the shop as well. So here you can see the contouring operation running through the outline of the helmet, and after that freed away the helmet from the stock piece, we switched to the ball end mill and ran the parallel operation. So you can see that there's some glue marks shown here, and this is just Mach 1 of what I'm calling the Iron Man wooden mask that I'm gonna be making. And whenever we make this, I'll either use one full piece of wood stock or I'll ensure equal clamping pressure across all the points, including the center, so that we can reduce the glue marks. So discreet. Tell you what, throw a little hot rod red in there. Yes, that should help you keep a low profile. The render is complete. Yeah, I like the fabricated. Paint it. Commencing automated assembly.
and I absolutely love how this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching. Catch you on the next one.